Hey, that's it! That won't work. Do you like soccer? I hate soccer. I hate you. I hate all of this. Do you like couscous? I'll give you couscous in just a minute. I want to go back to the quarry. Uh, somehow it's just not the same. Lunch break. Now of all times? Oh, so who do we have there? Dinar! What a merry troop. A former pharaoh and a former guardian of the Ankh, accompanied by a horde of wannabe revolutionaries. And I sense a presence that I haven't sensed in Osiris. You have his heart in the trophy. Damn it, he appears to have a nose for that. How practical that you bring me both at the same time. You'll get that only over our dead bodies. Anything else would be boring. So then let us... What's this parade all about? Daddy! Here I am, my child. There you are. What have you done this time? I... um... we've... What is that? The trophy I contributed to the big game? You found it. You did a great job. A thousand thanks. Ambassador. May I respectfully suggest that I should be the one who takes the trophy into safekeeping until the final. Anything but that! Don't worry, Pharaoh. I look after my trophy until the final game is over. Ambassador, let me rephrase that. The gods are a bit cranky at the moment. We wouldn't want them to lose their temper on you, would we? Thank goodness I'm an Arab. The Egyptian gods have no jurisdiction over me. No one puts their dirty paws on the trophy until the game is over. And then I will personally present it to the victors. Oh, all right then. Let the big game decide. We have to get back the trophy with the heart of Osiris in it. And the Ankh. Yeah, we shouldn't forget the Ankh either. Tara, can't you talk your father into giving you the trophy? You don't know my father like I do. Because of the diplomatic protocol, I'll have to sit next to him and watch the game. Our only hope is that Moses' team wins the game. Then my father will hand the trophy over to the winning team, and Dinar will never have the chance to lay his hands on it. But if Moses' team doesn't win? Then the Cairo Pharaohs win, and the trophy goes to Dinar. Then we'll break into the arena and do everything necessary to prevent the Cairo Pharaohs from winning. So be it. Let's take the path through the catacombs. It's about to start any minute now. The great match between the Cairo Pharaohs and the outsider team, the Nile Crocodiles. And the Nile Crocodiles seem to play without their best forward, Moses. He's not to be seen anywhere. <laughs> and Moses won't be coming so quickly. I've made sure of that. Damn, and I'm stuck here. I hope our secret plan works. Be careful, Asil, and good luck.
The arena is just above you. Do what you can so that Moses' team wins the game. I don't think that I can get up there. I was let down with this. Nice rope. It's just a shame that I can't get back up there now. Not particularly interesting. A message in a bottle. Hey! At last I have a bottle that I can call my very own. A message. A message in a bottle. How interesting. A large solid grating. The water, or to be precise, the slop flows over there. A grappling hook. The swamp of Cairo flows by here. There's all sorts of stuff swimming around here. It directs the waste downward. It directs the waste downward. That won't work. It's worth a shot. It says, in the unlikely event of an accident, Open this door and use the slide. Should the arena land on water, the slides will detach and form rafts. A large duct cover. The weight is down. The weight is up.
When the motor's on, the elevator's operational. Not particularly interesting. This is a door. This is a door. This is a door. I knew that you'd come. Are you clairvoyant? If you ever want to get out of here alive, then trust me, and only me, okay? Oh, really? Why? Because I'm the closest thing you can call a friend. Oh, really? Absolutely. Okay, I trust you. Imprisonment is often subjective. You just have to turn over every stone. Left, right, then left again. Then suddenly the path to paradise is open. Not every object that looks important actually is. Sometimes two insignificant objects combined can result in something completely far out. That'll help you to turn something that actually doesn't turn. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Got it. Keepers! There's someone there! Who are you? My name is Gimotep. I'm the owner of the fruit stand at the bazaar. Actually, I should have said that I was the owner. All us fruit vendors have been stewing in prison ever since the implementation of the banana ban. Meanwhile, I've made myself quite comfortable here. Don't we know each other? How am I supposed to know? Can't you see? I'm locked up in here. Is it possible that we've already met in Ankh-1? What makes you think that? Because everything here seems to be recycled. Come to think of it, didn't I once help you to get out of jail? I pounded you out of lockpick as thanks for a tasty bottle of wine. I knew it! Isn't there a Mrs. Gimotep who's waiting for you? She eloped with a wineman ages ago. Why is there such a humongous lock on the door? I'm an escape artist. You're an imprisoned escape artist? Yeah. And? An escape artist would have already broken out of here ages ago. Think logically, boy. In order to become an escapee, you first have to be a detainee. Imprison uh, describes a current condition whose duration is um, variable. An escape artist is not defined by the event of his escape, but rather by his ability to escape. You've had a lot of time to think about that, haven't you? Quite. Maybe I could somehow accelerate your breakout. The best way 
would be to find me a fine tool with which I could annihilate this lock. Your fruit stand is now more of a mush stand that stinks up the whole bazaar. Once I'm out of here, I'll build myself a new livelihood. I've heard that you can make quite a decent living as a politician. And you don't have to do much, apart from spewing big talk. And that, I can do. Two pounds of strawberries for just three fifty! Wow. See? Well then, have fun hanging around. Don't worry. I'll free myself sooner or later. But... I wouldn't say no to any type of help. An exquisite Arabian mocha machine. I'll just borrow this for a moment. So you're this Tara? I have no idea what my sweetheart Asil sees in you. Aha! So you've got a crush on the goalie! Oh, well, <laughs> he's a strong man. But why is the goal only half open? Daddy did that on purpose, so that my sweetheart could win more easily. I see. So he needs help from your daddy. What a wimp. Don't say that about my goalie. Wimp, wimp, wimp! Oh, how mean. He could too, and I'll prove it. Daddy! <coughs> yes, my little doll? Open the goal all the way. Al Mufta will show them. Uh, um, uh, open the goal? Are you nuts? Oh, please, please. Didn't you get the rules, Missy? Ball in goal, team loses. Wimpy goalie. Daddy, he'll show them. Come on, open the goal. Otherwise, I should have to cry. Stupid cow. What? Oh, nothing. Of course I'll open the goal. And Osiris have mercy if he lets a ball in. Guard. First, get this thing unlocked, and then onto that slot of a slave. Slave, I've returned. Oh no, the tormentor. Come on, pedal faster. I have to crank up the gate. Again? Already? But we've just spent Silence, ages... Silence, slave. Get to it. I want to see that running wheel glowing. Do you know what? I'm totally beat. Do I sense resistance? I guess you could call it that. This is unbelievable. Come on, run. No, not in that tone. I won't take another step. You know what that means. Uh, the whip? Exactly. <laughs> but you're always forgetting it somewhere, aren't you? Hmm, you're right. I actually have forgotten it. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm not taking another step. Just you wait. I'm going to go look for it, and when I get back, you'll get what's coming to you. An empty mocha cup. A steaming cup of freshly brewed fragrant mocha. A 
poured the mocha down the drain. Now if that isn't tasty. Like I said, I'm not taking another step. No worries, I'm not part of the troops. What luck! I thought that I'd have to run again, and I'm already completely bushed. How do I get you back into shape? Oh, cripes! Can't you come up with a motivator other than a whip? Tastes like no one's bothered to decalcify that mocha machine in ages. But hey, I feel like I'm reborn. And off I go. I'll pull on the lever. Pharaoh ordered to open the goal. That's the last chance for the Nile crocodiles. Now, what's going on over there? The Pharaoh ordered to close the goal of the Cairo Pharaohs. Only Moses could still score a goal now, but the star of the Nile Crocodiles still is not in sight. Cairo Pharaohs are going to win the final unless a miracle is going to happen. This is a door. 